Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for Virgo for June 2020. This is for love and relationships. This is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. I'll leave all of my information down below. So I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for your support to my channel. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your likes and your um, comments. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that as well. So today we're doing a love and relationship reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And how this works, guys, is the side over here will represent you, Virgo. The side over here will represent the other person. Now that can be your partner, significant other. If you're not in a relationship at this time, it can be the person you're interested in. Um, it can even be an ex-partner. It can even be a friendship, okay? So it can either be a love connection um, or a any type of relationship. Basically, it's whoever you're thinking of while you're watching this video. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at the potential outcome for the relationship for the month of June. All right, guys. So today I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot by Chris Ann for the main read. And then the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And then for your advice from Spirit, I'm using the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck by Stacey DeMarco. Okay, Virgo, so I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you have the Fool. So this is your overall energy for the month of June, and I absolutely love this card. This is by far my favorite card in the deck. So there is an excitement um, this month in your life, in your relationships, this is a fresh start. This is you, um, wanting a new beginning. This is you letting go of any baggage or anything unnecessary from your past, anything that's held you back before in relationships. Okay. So you're taking a chance. You're taking a chance on this person. You're taking a chance on love. Um, you may be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius, but it's a, it's a really, um, it's an exciting energy. It is one of feeling free. So whether or not you're in a committed relationship, you feel free. You feel very much, um, you know, not held down, not held back by anything. Okay. So a great card to start with, Virgo. Underneath the full, you have the two of wands and the five of wands in reverse. So a lot of fire energy here. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. And that would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. With this two of wands, Virgo, you are looking out, planning for the future. Okay. There's a lot of passion in this connection. And I feel like for some of you, you might be at a distance from this person. Okay. This could be a long distance, distance relationship. Um, or you might be traveling for work and not seeing this person as much as you would like. But there is a strong connection here. And with the five of wands in reverse, I feel like there's been some conflict in your past. Now that could be with this person or just in your relationships in general. There's been a lot of pettiness, some arguing, some disagreements. But with it in the reverse, it looks like you're letting go of that, okay? You're letting go of the things that don't matter. 
and you're looking more at the big picture here. Okay, so wanting to first start with the full card, um, really good energy to start off with Virgo. So let's see where this goes for you for the month of June. All right, so the first card you have Virgo represents your energy and you have the nine of pentacles. So this is definitely your card Virgo. This is earth energy. With this nine of pentacles, you are very confident, very much um, in control of your life. I feel like you are very focused on you, focused on building a solid future for yourself. For some of you, this really revolves around work and career. Um, you might be working on a promotion or trying to get a new job, but whatever it is, it's it seems to be working out very well for you. This is also an energy of being independent, okay? So again, you might be feeling very strong, very confident, you know, this is very attractive, sexy energy. Um, you might not feel that you need to be in a relationship right now. You definitely want to, but um, you're okay with being alone as well. So again, very strong, very confident, independent, focusing on your coins, focusing on work and career. Okay. So let's take a look at the other person, Virgo. And they have the Two of Cups. Okay, so you may be dealing with a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person is very much focused on you. Okay, they're focused on this relationship, this connection. This is a soulmate card. So they definitely see you as their soulmate, as somebody they've been searching for, longing for. Um, this is a very spiritual connection. Okay, so I feel like you, you know, you tick off all their boxes. You fill up their cup emotionally and spiritually. So while you're, you know, you seem to be very focused on material things and you know, work and be being very much in your earth energy where your person is very much focused on love and this connection. Okay. Um, so again, this is a great card. Definitely a soulmate here. They want to put in um, a lot of effort into this relationship. Okay. And they do feel like you give you do give them a lot of effort back. So it's a very um, equal give and take in this connection. Okay. Next card you have, Virgo, represents your emotions. And you have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so interesting. You have the Eight and the Nine here, Virgo. With the eight being in reverse, I feel like you may be having a hard time balancing all of your day-to-day -day things, okay, with this relationship, okay? So you might, for some of you, you might be working two jobs, you might be a single parent, um, you know, trying to balance work, home, family, and your love life, and it, it it's a little bit overwhelming at times. You might feel emotionally like, like you are not giving enough emotionally sometimes. Okay. But I feel like you realize that it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, um, to build this connection, to give this person this emotional connection that they 
know that you guys have, okay? You're realizing that it does take time and effort, okay? So you might be having a hard time balancing everything emotionally. Doesn't mean that you can't do it, um, Virgo. You know, you're very determined. And once you put your mind to something, you definitely go after it, okay? So the next card you have, Virgo, represents the other person's emotions. And they have the strength in reverse. Okay, so emotionally, this person is afraid. They're afraid that this connection is not going to last, that it might not be long term that for some, um, they might think it's too good to be true. This is an energy of, of fear, of, of being too deep in their emotions, okay? So with that Two of Cups, you know, this is a soulmate connection. It might seem very overwhelming to them. And this can be some insecurities on their part, it might not have anything to do with you, Virgo. It might have a lot to do with um, their past and their past relationships and things that maybe haven't worked out for them before. Okay, so a little bit of fear here, a little bit of insecurity emotionally. All right, Virgo. So we're going to take a look at the potential outcome here. For the relationship for the month of June. All right. So we have the devil in reverse. Your advice from spirit is attraction. And your romance card, Virgo is attraction wow okay so we have attraction twice very interesting let's take a look at the tarot card first virgo all right so the devil in reverse for your outcome is very interesting this is a major arcana um it's very intense i like this card in reverse okay this tells me a lot. There has been a lot of fear here. There's been um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of emphasis placed on the past and things that have happened in the past. Virgo, this is you letting go of any attachments or anything that was negative in your past relationships. Okay. For some of you, this can be an addiction that you're letting go of. Okay. The devil can often speak about addictions or things that are unhealthy for us. If it's not an addiction, it could just be, you know, the idea that both of you have that relationships um, are difficult or that you know, you have to be codependent on a person in order to be happy. This is you you letting go of that fear, letting go of that um, negative attachment to anything or anyone. It is also a very uh, sexual card. So there is a lot of chemistry here. There is a lot of, um, you know, passion and... It could be a very strong physical connection as well. Okay, so for your Romance Angels card, Virgo, you have attraction. And it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So again, Virgo, you're feeling very attractive in the month of June. Um, very much in your element. This is a card about pleasure and sensuality and you're obviously very attracted to one another and i think this is the two of you enjoying um time together 
This is a romantic connection. And there's definitely love here. Okay. So for your advice from Spirit Virgo, you have attraction. And this is the super moon. So with the two cards of attraction here and this devil card, this tells me a very specific message, okay? I feel like for some of you, this connection started out as purely physical, okay? It might have started out as a sexual attraction or one that you thought, you know, wouldn't last, wouldn't be for the long term. But it looks like that's not the case. It looks like that has turned into something very substantial and very much um, a soulmate connection. And it might have taken you both by surprise. With this super moon here, you can see this huge moon. The energy is very, very intense. Okay, so the attraction there is very strong. Um, I feel like the two of you have been magnetically attracted to one another, pulled together, and um, you may be having a hard time um, being apart from each other. Okay, this can be a very physical connection but it is one that is spiritual as well and emotional so a lot of attraction there guys so Virgo there's your reading for June let um, leave me a comment let me know how this resonated with you and I do hope that um, you guys have a great rest of the month and take care